Still a great day to head out to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us live from Swamico. Hi, Neil. Hey, good morning. Yeah, that's right, Rachel. It's a beautiful morning out here. You know, with all the snow, everything looks fantastic. You know, it's a great time to visit the animals. You know, the activity patterns uh, kind of pick up, too, with the snowstorms. And, and also, it's great viewing. And, and uh, what we're showing right now is we have a brand new animal that arrived on November 21st. Uh, this is a female red panda, and uh, she's part of a breeding program. Now, there's only 59 of these red pandas uh, in the U.S. Uh, we're hoping to go ahead and, with this uh, intensive breeding program and cooperation uh, amongst uh, zoos, that we're going to get those numbers up to about 110, and that's what we're looking at for a sustainable population. Now, when you look out in the wild, you know, there's probably less than, oh, 10,000 red pandas. You know, there's two different subspecies, you know, and, and uh, there's still only about 10,000 animals left in the wild. So it's important programs like this work out and they work well. Now, for that to happen, we get recommendations, uh, you know, throughout the year uh, for a number of different animals. And in this case, we got a recommendation to go ahead and move our female who didn't breed last year. She did the two previous years, okay? Uh, she's four years old to go ahead and switch females with the Houston Zoo. So we looked at the opportunity to do that. That was in November. You know, we sent uh, Leafa down there and we brought up Ketty. You know, Ketty, you know, has just been out on exhibit for a couple days. And, you know, this is really the first time she's actually seen snow like this. She had snow down in Houston just as like a little snowball for enrichment. Well, she's got a lot of Richmond out here right now, but uh, she's doing real well. So we're going to monitor her, you know, to see how well, you know, she makes that adjustment. Of course, with our weather, you know, these they're built for that. And you see the strategy that she's using is uh, she, she's laying up there. She's all curled up. You know, that's one thing with, the, with these red pandas. They have the ability to go ahead and uh, actually reduce their metabolism to save energy but not to reduce their core body temperature. Oh, neat. The other thing that, yeah, it's really cool. And what's interesting too is uh, we've got a, a number of different nest boxes and she has one in here that's heated. You know, there's a, there's a heat mat. We want to make sure that she's got good dry bedding. Uh, the same with um, uh, Tybo or on the other side, but they're not together yet. We're, we still have this introduction period and we're then hoping, you know, with another month, once we start getting the breeding scenes, season, we'll go ahead and introduce them. So they're okay. able to see each other. And you know what's interesting with these guys though, is all red pandas look a little bit different, is their facial markings and the lines by their eyes, you tell the difference from one to another, and they will look at each other like that to determine, to make sure he knows that's not Leafa. He knows it's a different red panda in there right wow, now. Wow, very cool. And I know it's hard to see her right now, but um, we could sure. see her pretty well. Early